Hello and welcome to Texture Tutorials. In JavaScript, three functions, call, apply, and bind, they're very, very useful. And they have some of the coolest applications I've seen. They let you borrow functionalities from other objects. And that is very powerful. Since JavaScript is a very flexible language, you can you know, borrow functions from here and use it here without any problem. So you can do cool mixins. You can do multiple inheritance. So borrow a functionality from multiple function. You can create a, your own object. You can borrow function from one object prototype to another. You can do bind to this. Remember, if you have function inside function, sometimes the, the, this binding becomes very difficult. And you can use it in a frameworks like React, uh, Angular. So let's look at it. So here I'm inside JS Fiddle. Let's first look at call. So I have a function call add, which takes one argument, C, and inside it would say console log this.a plus this.b plus C. There is no A and B available for this function, but don't worry about it. Now let's look at an object which has A and B. So you have an object called object equal to, and it has two properties. A is one, and it has B, which is two. You can call this add function on this object, OBJ. And the way you do it is, I can say add dot call. This is the call function. And within that, I would pass the object that I would like. And in the add function, you could pass a parameter like C here, which I would do it here. So let's say if I say three. So A is one, B is two, and C is three. So if I run this function, I would get six, which is correct. So one plus two plus three is six. I have used add function on this object. Add is not part of this object, but you can use it using call. And this is a simple example. Now let's look at something a little bit useful. Every object in JavaScript has prototype. And within the prototype, you would find a bunch of methods that you can use only for th that object. For example, if I take an array and if I just do console log, I would say console log dir, so I can see much more in detail. So if I look at this array, it has proto and inside this, I have a bunch of methods. It has one of the methods called slice. So let's say I have a function called args to array equal to a function. And in JavaScript, you don't really have to pass any arguments because inside there is an argument object available. It's called arguments and which holds all the parameter passed. So let's say if I simply call args to array and let's say pass one, two, three. If I just console log arguments, this is the object automatically available inside. If I look at it, it should give me this object with three elements. It's not an array. It's an array like object. But if you look at it, it doesn't have its proto doesn't have array functionalities like slice and reverse and all that stuff. So what I want to do is I want to convert this argument into array. So I can use arrays functionality on this argument. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to borrow functionalities from arrays prototype. So the way I sh should do is I would write an empty array, which should have those method called slice. So I can say slice, and then I'm going to, I'm going to call call function. And inside this call function, I'm going to pass the arguments, that object, and that should convert arguments into array. So, we are borrowing slice functionality for this arguments object, which is not an array, but it still would slice it. Console log this, and if I run this, I would get an actual array. And if I look at its prototype, it would have all these functions that are, it's available. So this is quite useful. You can borrow arrays fun functionality on non-array arm. 
Second utility of call function is when you are not using classes and you, you, you are using function constructors and you have a base constructor and you have a sub constructor and you want to call base constructor from sub constructor you know like a super kind of functionality you can use call so the way it works is mammal which would be our base constructor and it would have a function and it would have legs as a property that it would set because it's a constructor so it would say this dot legs equal to legs and now I can have a sub constructor like a subclass called cat which I can create from mammal so I can say cat equal to a function and it would obviously would have legs and it would have its own um, property call and inside I, I would have to set the is domesticated equal to is domesticated but I don't really have to set up run the legs again so for that I can just call mammal which is a base constructor so what I would do I would take mammal and I would say call on this and legs and I can say this dot is domesticated equal to is domesticated so I built a cat from this so now I can build a lion from so lion would be an instance of this constructor so I can say let lion equal to a new cat and it would have like four legs and it's false because it's not domesticated well you could domesticate it but we can say that we should not do it so if I console log lion I would see yes I'm calling it function so now if I run this I would get legs equal to four and is domesticated equal to false which is correct so this is a cool use now let's look at apply now unlike call where you pass arguments apply would take an array as an argument so the utility of apply function would be when you pass an array as an argument it converts into regular arguments I know it's a bit confusing but it will clear up soon so I have an array called let num array which is nothing but a bunch of numbers now this could be a very long array but I'm just going to show you that the power of it let's say I want to find a minimum of this array one way to do it is just loop through the entire thing and find the minimum but JavaScript has a function called min and the function is in inside the math library and if I do this for example one two three what it would do it would give me the minimum of this so if I console log this and run it it would give me one but arrays doesn't have this functionality so what I have to do is if I somehow can pass make this array into a list of arguments I can pass it in here and do it I can say math dot min dot apply and I'm not gonna pass any object so I'm just gonna say null and inside I'll just pass this number array, which will get converted into arguments so now console log this I would also get the same results now let's look at bind bind is my favorite and it has some of the cool utilities that you can use so what bind does is just like a call and apply you can borrow functionalities from other libraries on your object temporarily so it would run it and it would give you result and it's fine but bind would actually bind your object with that functionality and give you that functionality bind inside the object so which is really cool so let's take a look at a button so I have a button equal to a function and what button does is it would have some content and inside it would just say this dot content equal to 
content. Simple, right? It's a constructor basically. And I can have a click event to this button. So I can say button dot prototype dot click equal to function and inside here what I would do is simply say console log well I can use a template string if you don't know what template string is I have a tutorial I'll provide a link here and I would just say clicked so whichever context I pass it would just say add click or remove clicked I can create a new button because it's a constructor I can say let new button equal to a new button and I can say add here the click function is actually loosely bound to new button and you can verify it by doing this so let's say if I say let uh, lose click equal to a new button dot it's no longer bound to this uh, new button so if I run this it says undefined click because it's no longer bound so I can actually bound it by calling it bound button and I can say click dot bind so I can bind it back to the new button this should do the job but I have to call this here and now if I run this it says add click so this is you can actually bind back to the object that it had, it was loosely bound. Right now, in the end, one of the coolest application of bind. So let's say if I create a, an object called my object, which is an object literal, and inside I have a a method called async get. Basically, what it does it when I call it, it would asynchronously get some value from the API that I pass. But I'm not going to do it here. I'm just going to show you how to use it. And which will have a callback function so whenever I uh, whenever it gets the data back it will use this callback function to call it will have another property called parse what it would do is whichever data it gets back it would parse it and I can pass it into the async get so it would simply say console log parse called and it has a button called render and this method would basically call async get which will call parse it's quite complex but let's just see how it works so we can say this dot async get since it's a part of this object I can say this dot async get and I can pass um, a function which will inside call parse well I suppose to say this dot parse if I run this it would say this dot parse is not a function because this inside this async function means I am calling the scope of this is async get one solution is to just do this so I can say that equal to this and inside I can say that dot parse and it would work and it says parse call but it's not a good idea instead all I have to do is let's just still calling it this I can the object that I'm passing in which is this object I can say dot bind to this which means I can use this basically it's binding outer this to inner this and if I run this now it says parse called which is correct so that's all folks about call apply and bind utilities I hope you learned something from this tutorial and if you did please like subscribe and provide a constructive comment and if you can uh, translate this video for me um, so that whichever language you are coming from your countrymen can also learn from this video I'll provide a link in the description so if you have time please translate thank you